Booyaka, booyaka. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tim Black. Welcome to Coffee with Tim Black. George W. Bush returns from the grave to give his thoughts on media. Yes, he appeared on the Matt Lauer NBC show today where he talks about media's influence and he says, well, hey, he ain't got a problem with media. Check it out. Did you ever consider the media to be the enemy of the American people? <laughs> I consider the media, media to be indispensable to democracy. Uh, that we need an independent media to hold uh, people like me to account. I mean, power can be very addictive and it can be uh, corrosive and uh, it's important for the media to uh, call to account people who abuse their power. What you talking about, George W? Wow, so I'm supposed to listen to George W. Bush and his thoughts about mainstream media. He says that mainstream media should be there to check people in power? I guess mainstream media must have checked out while you were lying about weapons of mass destruction, lying about Osama bin Laden have something to do with about 9-11, lying about the access to evil, and my favorite, they just hate us for our freedom. Yeah, they hate us for our freedom. Anyway, just trying to move beyond that, just to try to look at what George W. Bush is talking about here. I don't know, man. Look, George W. Bush, I understand that you want to say the right things. It appears that you were being very circumspect with your answers to the questions about media. You don't want to say the wrong thing, man. You've been hiding for the last seven years. I don't know how long it's been. The way it looks to me, Mr. President, is you got a book to sell. So now you need to run on all these networks and sell that book. Meanwhile, you'll say whatever you need to say. We all know you ain't got no love for Trump, especially after he threw you under the bus about 9-11. I remember the harsh words. Maybe some of you do, too, when he said that George W. Bush failed us. George Bush made a mistake. We can make mistakes, but that one was a beauty. We should have never been in Iraq. We have destabilized right. the Middle East. But so I had to hurt. I know Bush was probably sitting back like, I can't wait to get him. Oh, man. I can't wait to get him all. I can't wait to get him. Our former president's been in hell in those paint fumes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just wanting to hawk his book. He has to go on several networks, try to get that book off, you know, to ease his anxiety and his guilt about sending so many servicemen and women to die in a war we could have avoided. I don't know. People say they like Bush now, which is weird, but that's what the Democrats do. They hate him. Now they love him because he's saying what they want him to say. I don't believe the media sway that was proven during the primaries concerning the DNC, Hillary Clinton's campaign, and several news entities like New York Times. I don't think that was a strange thing. I don't think it's something out of the ordinary. I don't think we found Bigfoot. I think it's regular. I think it goes down all the time, and we're just not privy to that information. All right, that's all I got on this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Is the media truly there to check power, or is it the other way? Does power check media, and does it do whatever pretty much its donors or the powerful people who supply the paychecks tell it to do? You know where I come up on this. Let me know what you think. I'm Tim Black. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And like I always say, don't you let nobody take your cornbread or your ability to think for yourself.